believed to be a gentleman and a businessman. And it's for these attributes we've ridden from Texas to Tennessee to parlay with you now. I wish to purchase one of your nigger gals. <laughs> you and young Jimmy rode from Texas to Tennessee to buy one of my nigger gals. No appointment, no nothing. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid so. But what if I say I don't like you? All your fancy pants, nigga, I'm going to sell you a ticker's thing. Now, what you got to say about that? Mr. Bennett, if you are the businessman, I'm going to let you leave it to be. I have 5,000 things I might say that would change your mind. Well, come on and have yourself some cool to drink. <laughs> uh, maybe while we discuss business, you could provide one of your loveliest black creatures to escort Django here around your magnificent grounds. Absolutely. But take your sugar. Yes, sir? What did you say your Jimmy's name was again? <laughs> Django. Django. Bettina, take Django there, take him around the grounds and show him all the pretty stuff, okay? Oh, Mr. Bennett, I must remind you, Django is a free man. He cannot be treated like a slave. Oh, within the bounds of good taste, he must be treated as an extension of myself. Understood, sugar. Bettina, sugar. Yes, a bit, Daddy. Django is not a slave. Django is a free man. <laughs> you can't treat Django like the other niggas around here because he ain't like the other niggas around here, you got it. <laughs> You want us to treat him like white folks? No. That's not what I said. Now, I don't know what it won't be, Daddy. Yes, I can see that. Uh, what's the name of that Peckerwood boy from town works with the glasses? Mama works at the lumber yard. You know the one? Do you mean Jerry? Jerry, that's right. Uh, you just treat him like you would, Jerry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 